not the finish you're looking for, but just kind of walk me through today and the motions right now. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I fought like hell all day, and, um, you know, kind of like I said earlier, I was kind of more disappointed with the amount that I left out there in the second and third round. I thought today I battled really well. Um, I thought the putt I hit on the 72nd hole, I thought I made it. Um, you know, I just needed a hair more speed. And, you know, we I've seen enough putts through the years coming down that hill to know that that putt just doesn't go left. And, you know, it happened to go left. So, um, but, you know, a lot of fun today. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of, the emotions that I'm kind of feeling are a little bit from Corn Ferry. Um, right before I got my first win, I horseshoed one from about 15 feet, then won the next week. So. Um, I know my game's really close, especially, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough I'll be playing next week, too, and on a few golf courses that I know really well. Well, was there any discussion to not do the playoff today? No, I mean, we were fine. I, I thought I, you know, um, you know, it really got dark fast. Um, you know, I, I really had to rely on past history on the on the playoff hole. Um, I really couldn't see much in terms of the read, but, um, you know, I'm not even that disappointed with, with that part. I mean, I made three pars on 18 this week, and, you know, that's just not going to get it done. What was the read on the playoff putt? What were you seeing? Uh, right center. Um, you know, I just started bouncing a little early and, and just broke off hard. Um, I hit a great putt. I mean, I striped both of those putts. Um, you know, I, for what I could see, you know, considering the amount of darkness, uh, you know, I thought I'd hit a pretty good putt in there. But, I mean, you know, Luke went out and got it. I mean, plug line, the bunker, hits it out there, and then hits it to a foot. I mean, that's that's a, that's a championship shot right there. What club did you end up with on the approach into the hole? Uh, I hit 50 degree. Okay. So. And the bizarre nature of you guys driving to Yeah, a no, I mean, honestly, yeah. Crazy. Uh, yeah, very weird. I mean, I, I don't know if they added more sand this week from the open, but there's way more sand in the bunkers this week. I mean, Jason Day had one on five. That was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that on tour. Um, but then again, you know, fairways are pretty pure out here, so don't hit in the bunkers. This is your first playoff loss on, on tour, and it all happens so quick, right? Like mm -hmm. Luke makes his birdie, you mm -hmm. miss, and then you're standing here in front of us. How do you process it all? Where are your emotions right now? I want to go get next week. It's pretty simple. Um, I got no regrets today at all. I, I thought, I, like I said, I thought I battled like hell all day and um, handled myself really well. I mean, I, I had my chances for sure. Um, but, you know, that's just the, the nature of this game. It's hard to win out here. There's, there's no question about that. How tough was the course playing relative to the rest of the week? And you talked about some pins were pretty tough. How, how tough was it for a final round? Yeah, I mean, I, Basically, 14 on were the toughest spins you could have on the green. I mean, 18, kind of a little bit, you know, it's a little difficult, but, I mean, it's still, um, you know, but 14 through 17, those are the toughest spins you got. And so I knew that um, I needed, you know, to play pretty solid through there, and I kept in it to 40 feet and, you know, lagging up there and making, making pars. So um, as opposed to earlier in the week where I was knocking them, you know, you could hit kind of a mediocre shot and have 20 feet. Did you have any sense when you stepped to 18 um, in regulation that this is my hole? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this here. Was there any? Yeah, kind of no, problem? totally. I mean, I've I've won multiple events on the amateur level and in college on the 18th hole, and I've got a lot of really good, a lot of really good history to draw back on. Um, so I. Frankly, I can't remember a playoff loss that I've had, so this one, uh, this one's kind of new for me. Did, was there any thought if you couldn't see the read in, in the playoff? Was there any thought to just saying let's let's do this at 7 a.m.? No, because I I really wanted I I really wanted to play. I really you know in the moment it's kind of hard you know to say hey let's come back tomorrow. I mean I wanted to you know bury that putt badly and come back tomorrow. Um, so you know like I said I you know. Luke went out and got it on the 18th hole. I mean, that was a hell of a birdie. I mean, I, you know, hit the fairway. I'm looking at an easy four, and, you know, I didn't do it in back-to-back -back times. Did you feel, as a rookie, it almost felt like you were a hometown guy out here and you'd won a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. did, did that feel like that to you, of how much support you got? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the fans were incredible this week, um, especially coming in on 18 and, um, 
you know, I, I definitely felt like the hometown kid even before I'm hitting my putts on 18. You know, the crowd's cheering. So um, I know I'll be back. I uh, I know I'll get one soon. Thanks, bro. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Yeah.